With me this morning are Senator Peggy Wainer, who's behind me, representing Dorothy Palanda, and Mary Nell Townsend, foster parent, who's also director of Ohio Family Care Association, and they will be speaking uh, after I do. Uh, this morning, we are releasing the Attorney General's Foster Care Advisory Group recommendations. Uh, let me talk briefly about why uh, I'm involved in this and what my interest is, and second, about the process that we follow to get to this day when we're releasing uh, this report. When I was a prosecuting attorney uh, in the early 1970s, I think the biggest shock I received was the, the tragedies that I encountered with young children who were being abused, uh, young children uh, who were being neglected. And I saw that because as the prosecuting, first assistant prosecutor and then as the elected county prosecutor, we represented children's services. And so I would go to the basement, what was in the basement of the Green County Courthouse, and, and handle these cases. And frankly, those uh, cases uh, and those tragedies and those stories and those children uh, have remained with me uh, throughout my life and it really, really impacted me. Uh, when I was in the United States Senate, um, I was very much involved um, in the Adoption and Saved Families Act of 1997. Uh, one of the provisions of that bill uh, I wrote, I wrote a number of them, but one of them that I wrote provided that the safety of the child would always be paramount. The family reunification was the law of the land, and we all support that, but when a court, children's services, when decisions are being made, whether to put a child back in a home that had been abusive home, the abusive parents, uh, while family reunification was important, notwithstanding that, and notwithstanding that provision of federal law, the safety of the child, always had to be the most important thing. We wrote that into uh, the U.S. Code, and of course it's law in all 50 states today. My interest has, in this issue has continued and certainly did not go away when I became Attorney General. Um, what we are doing today is frankly a natural extension of my work as a prosecutor and my work later in the United States Senate. Um, in December of 2011, we held the first of what would be eight hearings around the state. They're spread all over the state. I personally attended every single one of them. Uh, we would you'd normally have a panel of five or six individuals children's service representative, a CASA representative, a juvenile court judge, maybe a foster parent, uh, people who had knowledge about the foster care situation in that area of the state. Those were open meetings, and those were meetings that we invited the public to. And quite frankly, some of the most telling testimony and most telling comments that we received were from people who just literally walked in from foster parents, from foster children, from former foster children who just showed up and wanted us to hear what they had to say. We continued that over a year period of time. Um, December of last year, we issued a report based upon what we learned in those eight different meetings around the state. We next assembled the foster care advisory group and we're going to pass out this booklet as soon as it comes off the press. <laughs> but on the inside the cover are the names of the individuals who served on this panel, on this working group. Uh, and it's very, not only is it geographically representative, but I think it represents the talent, the understanding, the experience uh, of people uh, across the state. And as you'll see, it's, a, it's a quite, a, quite a diverse group. Today we are issuing uh, that report. 
And let me briefly describe some of the things uh, that are in that report. Um, as I said, our next step after holding these eight hearings around the state was to assemble a group of child welfare experts to form a foster care advisory group for the Attorney General's office. I tasked the group with looking at the issues in the report, but also using their own best judgment and using their own experience in developing specific recommendations. And I asked them to return those recommendations within 90 days. Um, I truly appreciate the members of the advisory group uh, and what they did. They carefully reviewed the issues and they developed thoughtful, pragmatic solutions. And today I'm pleased to announce that we are releasing this advisory group's recommendations.